Hi, I'm Marla Mendelson, and today we're going to make a crepe with a mushroom duck cell filling. A duck cell is a combination of butter and mushrooms sauteed with herbs and some onions and shallots. It's used as a filling and sometimes even as a flavoring for soups. Today we're using it as a filling in crepes. So you can get a store-bought crepe or you can make your own crepes. I'm making my own crepes. And now I have to make the filling. So I'm going to start out by chopping onions. I have an onion chopped here. And then I have to chop mushrooms. So the question is, how do you prepare your mushrooms? They grow in the dirt. They're filled with dirt on the top and even on the bottom. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to submerge them in water because the mushroom acts like a sponge and soaks up all the water. So what I do is I pretend that it's raining on the mushroom, just as it does on the farm, and let the water hit the top of the mushroom cap, and I rub the dirt off. Never turn it over and let the water go into the gills. The mushroom <laughs> drinks up the water that way, and you don't want your crepe or anything else oozing brown mushroom water. So make sure it stays just the way it grows on the farm. Let it rain, wash off the dirt. You'll chop the mushroom. I'm going to first do it in an egg slicer. I'll slice the mushrooms and then coarsely chop them. And then I cook them in a saute pan with a little bit of butter. I add the onions until they're golden. Then the mushrooms, cook it until the mushrooms release their water. So they, I know they're not going to ooze that brown water. And once the water evaporates off, I'll add a little bit of salt, some dried thyme, which I take in my hand and I crush so that the oils inside the dried leaves come out. I'll add a little flour to help thicken it and finish it off with some sour cream. Take that filling, put it in the center of your crepe, roll the crepe up, and serve it right away. Mm -hmm. 